Welcome back. A document dump that could boot kick Hillary Clinton's campaign. That may be just hours away. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange reportedly set to release a new batch of goodies that's coming late tonight in the wee hours of the morning after initially canceling a press conference for security reasons because he was going to go all Ava Perone and stand on a balcony and be all, I'm at sixes and sevens with you, Hillary. Should Hillary be sweating here to roll up his sleeves and weigh in? It's Brian Suits, Iraq combat war veteran. And KFI AM 640 radio host in Los Angeles. There are the glasses coming off. It's getting real. Welcome back, Brian. Hey, how, thanks for having me. Hey, uh, thanks for being here. So let's talk about Julian Assange a little bit and what he could possibly disseminate. What could he say right now? What could he leak that could actually hurt Hillary Clinton's campaign? Because I don't think there's anything that could come out that would either shock people or change their minds. Well, whatever it is, it's whatever the Kremlin is feeding him, because we all know WikiLeaks is a front for uh, Putin's FSB. Mm. Uh, and that's why Assange specifically requested Russian bodyguards in the Ecuadorian embassy, uh, you know, three years ago or whenever he skived off out of, out of Sweden. So, you know, keep in mind that the Kremlin affected the Democratic Party right before the convention by getting Debbie Wasserman Schultz fired by dumping those emails. They could have done it a year ago. They could have done it, you know, a month before. They did it right before uh, to build outrage. So now here we are, uh, you know, less than 20, oh, I'm sorry, 35 days from the election. Is that right? Um, and so it's either health, private emails between her and her doctor about her Parkinson's, maybe, that some say she's hiding, or some other uh, affliction, or it's emails. This is far more likely because this is right in the Kremlin's wheelhouse. It's diplomatic emails from her private server um, di uh, communicating directly with heads of state about contributions to the Clinton Global Initiative, which we know happened for convenience sake. They conflated, uh, you know, classified uh, government work with pimping the, for, uh, for uh, donations for the foundation because Bill has been keeping his pimp hand strong yeah. on, on, on the, the foundation. And obviously, this, they were a, a tandem uh, set on this. So uh, it, it's okay, one of those so, two but, things. But let me ask you this, let me ask you this about Russia because she has had um, as much involvement with Russia as her campaign claims Donald Trump has had. And, you know, her assertion has been Donald Trump has these shady business dealings with all sorts of Russian entities. Therefore, uh, the Kremlin is favoring him and trying to torpedo me. But she's got Skolkovo and the Russian reset, <clears throat> and not to mention the uranium deal that favored the Russians. Why wouldn't they be doing the opposite, trying to tank Trump's campaign? Well, because uh, Hillary knows exactly what kind of a guy Putin is. Uh, this is that moment in Die Hard where Hillary is Bruce Willis on the phone with Hans, and Trump is that slick business guy who's about to get his head blown off. Oh, no. Uh, and this is, this is uh, Detective McLean saying, I know what kind of a guy you are, and he doesn't. Uh, and so, yeah, she sold our uranium to Rosatom, the, the state uh, uranium uh, monopoly in, in Russia, but she knows what kind of a guy he is, and so does Bill. Um, Trump has no clue. Trump has never met anybody like Vladimir Putin, has no idea about the guy's background, has no idea what moves the guy. Okay, so, this so you guy, think that you because know, of his naivete, because of his political naivete, that's reason enough for Vladimir Putin to be directly interfering with the U.S. election through Julius Assange and WikiLeaks? Absolutely, and they're, they're doing it. They're, we're about to have an election hacked in, in counties in Ohio and Pennsylvania and Florida because we never fixed 2000. The Russians, the ability to do this today... Uh, uh, overwhelms what happened in 2000 when it was simply a matter of people, you know, mis, mis poking out uh, the, the the Chad, mistakenly poking out the Chad. No, they're actively doing this to get Donald Trump elected. Uh, even though, as loathsome a person as Hillary Clinton is, and she really, down to her core, is a loathsome individual. She, the, her one strength is that she does know what kind of a guy Vladimir Putin is, and she doesn't have anyone surrounding her mm. uh, like Trump has, with General Michael Flynn, who was on RT, Russia Today's payroll. Uh, uh, and and Carter Page, his other foreign policy expert, he has people and his former campaign manager who have yeah. enriched themselves, enriched themselves with uh, with FSB money. It is uh, it's as though Tom Clancy were reading Jackie Collins novels. 
And then uh, people roll their eyes because they think that, you know, hey, the Cold War called and they want their rhetoric back or yeah. whatever it was that Obama said. No, this is a real deal. Vladimir Putin, there, there was a small cadre of people in Soviet Russia who actually had a pretty good. And Vladimir Putin was one of those guys who misses the old days. He does. But he misses he's, the he's old country. He, he's he not wants, a communist. He's no. a Russianist. He wants, uh, he wants his cabbage soup and the, uh, the CCCP back. And Brian, no, could you no, blame no, him? no. He got he got to go to KGB supermarkets and hospitals and movie theaters. He didn't he didn't hang out with the uh, the little people. No, he didn't. He summarily threw them down wells. Brian Suits, thank you so much for being here, and your beard. Absolutely, and at, at your beck and call. <laughs> Glasses go back on, which means we are done.